day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Paradise Valley, Montana. Well, since old Peter Fonda has made a real horse's ass out of himself on Twitter, I just thought I'd come out here and show you where his ranch is at. However, I am not going to be giving out any addresses or say where I'm at or any of that. Just because I don't want to get sued and be accused of stalking the man and whatnot have you. But anyway, if you look over to the left over here, that's his place but right there. Now, he, his driveway is about 200 yards long. And we're coming right up to it. And I figure if he wants to, you know, sight a riot, yeah, it's right up this road right there. Anyway, right back up in there. Can't see it because of all the trees, but there's where his, his ranch is. You know, I realize it's just kind of ridiculous doing it this way. But I'm not driving up there. I'm not doing any of that kind of stuff just simply because I don't want to be accused of me. Shrink this image back down. I don't want to be accused of stalking the guy or any of that. And like I say, I'm not talking about, you know, what road I'm on, his address. I don't even know what the address is. I just know he lived back there where I showed you. Now let me get turned back around here. I'm gonna use this little road right here. And... Yeah, since he's got himself in trouble with the Secret Service, I figured I better just kind of not mess around here too much if you know what I mean I'll be talking here in a minute you know but I know he he's trying to get a bunch of people to go harass our border patrol agents and let me roll down this window here and surround their homes and harass their kids and do all that by the way his Twitter, I am fond as what he is on Twitter. I'm not on Twitter. I don't like social media. But his place, like I say, is back in there. I realize this is real dumb the way I'm having to do that. But I'm not, I wouldn't be a bit surprised if he doesn't have armed guards. And I don't know. He might have been able to see a little red barn back there. But his place is tucked right back in those trees. Simple as that. Yeah. There's his driveway right here. Yeah, that's his driveway. And his ranch is right back in there. I know that for a fact. So, let me kind of pan this around. I realize you folks were, you can't see much, but that's the way it goes with these these rich people that come up into Montana. They get themselves buried back in here, you know, get themselves buried like a tick on a hound. But anyway, let me kind of hold that up there like that. Now, I also check uh, this Lane's mailbox complex down here, and there's no markings or nothing like that. But that's his place right underneath that hill. That hill you see right there. Okay. Uh, let me put this camera on me. I realize nobody wants to see what I look like, but I'm just going to run down the road here for just a little bit, and then I'll, you know, say what I got to say. And I don't, I'm in one of these kind of moods where I don't feel like bashing the man because he's already in enough trouble with his Secret Service the way it is. And if you folks don't know what I'm talking about with this Twitter stuff, just go to his Twitter page. Let me see. I think I can just pull right in here. I don't think nobody will mind too awful much. I don't know. Never know. But anyway, I am... Let me park here. I am Fonda's, Peter Fonda's uh, handle there on Twitter. I don't use social media. 
and I'm glad I don't use social media because social media to me, the only thing I do is YouTube videos and social media to me makes people say say things and blurt out things that they normally wouldn't do if, 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 if they were in a, in a public domain, you know? Now, Peter Bond is 78 years old and you think this guy would know better than to make dangerous threats towards the president and his family. You know, I'm a Vietnam veteran and I know better than to do that. You can, you can say anything you want to about the president of the United States, but you can't threaten them. You can't threaten their lives or their family. It's a felony. Pay, pay, pay. You should know better than that. Okay. What else do I got to say here? Uh, personally, myself, I don't have anything against Peter Fonda or any of that kind of stuff. I think he's lived in this area for some like, I don't know, since 1975. But there's a big difference between you, Peter, and me. I'm a native Montanan, and you were born in New York City. So let's get this thing straight. You know, you're never going to be a true Montanan, not like me. Now, the thing of it is, Peter Fonda says that he's pro-veteran. I don't know if I want to believe that or not, because I have not forgot what his sister, which I know we can't be liable for what his sister did, meaning Hanoi Jane Fonda. Now, for you younger people that might be watching this video, just just look it up on the internet and you'll figure out real quick, you know, what the deal was with Jane Fonda because she basically caused a lot of, humi a lot of humility, a lot of shame, and a lot of pain, if you will, to us Vietnam veterans, you know. Now, the, the thing of it is, uh, getting back to Peter Fonda, he, he, Peter Henry Fonda is his full name, He's got all the right in the world to have an opinion or dislike the President of the United States, but he does not have the right to threaten his family. And I went to his Twitter page, even though I do not use social media. I just, I broadcast once in a while on iVlog.tv and I make these stupid little goopy YouTube videos of mine. That's all I do. You know, but I, I went to his Twitter page I, I don't even know how Twitter works, but uh, you can read what's on somebody's page, but you just can't, if you're not a member of Twitter or don't have an account, you can't, you know, post anything. But I know he's got a group of lovelies there, or a followers, and it looks to me like everybody's loving each other through hate. Now, now Peter, what's the deal there, brother? You know, here you are supposed to be some kind of a... You know, you, you smoked a ton of pot in your day, I do believe, and take hemp oil and CBDs and supposed to be in a, a realized human being, etc., etc. It doesn't appear like that to me on all the crappy tweets that I've seen on your account there. <laughs> I just couldn't believe what I was reading. I, I really couldn't, you know. I'm gonna have to change hands here. I'm getting hard. I wanted to kind of hit in there fast and furious just simply because I don't know if the Secret Service is watching this place or just what the deal is. But, you know, the, the thing that really bothers me, ladies and gentlemen, here it is. If I was to have done something like that, made all them nasty tweets, and, and especially dragging little Baron Trump into it, that, that kid, how is he gonna be responsible for something? that his dad did, for God's sake, you know? I mean, why drag that kid into it? You know, the thing of it is with me there, good old Pete old boy, there's a lot of things that all of these politicians do that I don't like. In fact, there isn't a politician one that I don't like in all reality, but I just know that posting a bunch of negative garbage on the internet's gonna get you nowhere. Getting to nowhere in a quick hurry. You probably think you're doing humanity some good, but I know better. You know, and this business of, you know, inciting riots and telling people to go, you know, harass Border Patrol agents and customs people and, uh, and stage uh, riots and stuff or protests or whatever have you around their schools. 
come on, brother, this ain't going to work. This ain't going to work at all, you know. And so I've got a few beefs with this thing, but one thing I am glad of is the fact that I'm not a movie star, I'm not a personality, I'm not a, I'm not anybody important, you know. So therefore, I can kind of get away from with making a horse's ass out of myself, so to speak. But the thing of it is, since I'm a poor man and a broken down old Vietnam veteran that, you know, doesn't get half the medical help that I need, and why not have you? If I was to do something like that, like I started to say a minute or so ago, I'd be in jail. It's just that simple. I would be in jail. But you kind of people, you, Peter, I know were born with a silver spoon in your hand. You were all born into a famous family. You were already born into money. So therefore, you feel like you're entitled. I'll tell you what you can do there, Peter. You can do me a big favor. You and all your cronies and all your people that are just like you, you can get the hell out of the state of Montana. That's what would make me feel lots better. Because me and you are dyna dyna diametrically or dynamically opposed. Trust me on this. We're not even on the same planet. You know, it makes me, you know, you know, it makes me wonder just how much pain and suffering that you've ever went through in your life. Because I'll guarantee you, it's not been near as much as what I've been through. You're going to have to live 25 more lifetimes to, to feel the pain, the discrimination, and every other doggone thing that I felt just because I'm a Vietnam veteran. And that sister of yours, Hanoi Jane, she should be ashamed of herself. It's as simple as that. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. That's all I got to say. I wanted to keep, I didn't want to run on and on and on, because believe you me, I could go on longer than this. But I'll end this video, and that fuzzy little bit that you've seen back there, that is Peter Fonda's ranch, if you will, and all the BS that goes with it. Okay, thank you very much for watching the video.